So what I was trying to do was I was trying to make this thing as small as possible because it has to be shipped to um, Chichen Itza in Mexico. So basically I got the size down. This will fit in a backpack, ABS plastic backpack case. Um, interesting functions here are that you can see that I've got this down incredibly small and it's driven by, yes, none other than the famous 9 volt batteries. I have <clears throat> two sets here, two sets of 18 volts at double the current. So this set here is 9 and 9 is 18, that's 9 and 9 and 18, in parallel gives me the double current. And these, these run quite well. These uh, linear pods from Radio Shack are not the best, but they do um, give me a good test bed with which to test out all of these things here. Just to get the package small. Here, I'm going to replace some precision seven precision resistors with on-off bu uh, push momentary push buttons to uh, do like a keyboard of three notes to make a chord in the solfagio tuned frequencies, not the intonation that we use here today, but solfagio, S-O-L-F-E-G-G-I-O, -G -G um, which is the uh, matter and uh, let's see if I can say this right. It uh, enables matter to levitate and to be, I uh, can't remember the word, um, to be uh, dissected, so to speak. This is what Keeley used, um, and a lot of the ancients used solfagios and when they first found out that these certain tones do things with matter, that intonation does not. Intonation only works against air, wood, and brass. So, with these uh, set of controls that I have here, I can um, replace them with any kind of um, high degree of accuracy that I need to. Right now this is a rough in just to get these guys to drive off the 9 volt batteries to get this. And believe me, this thing is pretty loud. So what I'm going to do is on the next video I'm going to actually turn it on and we can hear the scratching and the harmonic uh, beauty that goes on here.